name is Emmanuel Epart Echaban. I'm the sub county water officer to Kana West, and I'm also the one in charge of surface provision in Kakuma. Uh, just like any other any other partner project, uh, we monitor as a team on this project and all aspects of the project, so that uh, there is uh, uh, results and what has been anticipated that is done according to the planning and design that we do. And secondly, in, even in terms of planning, uh, we plan together with WSTF, especially all these major activities. We have planned together as a uh, as a government and and also community members. We currently, um, we are sort of categorizing them into two. There are urban and upcoming urban centers and also have the rural, the rural areas. Having said that, there are different sources of water also that uh, the urban and the rural are enjoying. If you go to the rural areas, you realize there are, there are van pumps. Others are solarized, others are using underwells. So, but you, you realize the majority of people in Turkana West are actually using bowls. That is to say almost 90% are using bowls. That is the main source of water. And uh, to my maths, at least by now, we have more than 160 bowls, community-operated bowls. And then, of course, uh, different models of, uh, of management are there for community that are operated by community, but again, supported by county government for major repairs. But for Lokichogyo, we have a committee that is managing, and for Kakuma, uh, we have a government, a county government that ma ma manages. Just to take you back about Kakuma, we had Kawasepro that was dissolved uh, uh, last year, uh, April. And the challenge has been, which that is what WSTF and county government are currently developing, is uh, we have a, a county bill that is trying to put structures in place. Because you realize when you have a problem, in, probably in Kakuma, for example, you realize the resources are not enough to cater for the service provision. But they are collecting revenue. They are, doing, they are collecting revenue, and we expect this revenue should be able to support operations, maintenance, and probably sometimes where major repairs. County government is trying to develop, I mean, have some structures, have a company, and the rest of these uh, uh, small towns will have to report to that uh, urban water supply. Of course, there will be rural water supply that will take care of the rural water uh, water points. And th under that, there will be these the rural the water I mean uh, water use associations. But under the urban, mostly take care of the urban centers. Just on, on the background that Kakuma, uh, as it currently has with more than 50 or uh, 60,000 population, it has only f um, about five water sources. As we are talking currently, WSDF has uh, added additional four. Two are low yielding and uh, two are high yielding. We expect this, and with other development that WSDF is putting through Oxfam, uh, we expect there will be uh, increase in coverage. Currently, we are just zero in, in town, mostly in town, or a small village. So there will be expansion in terms of um, in terms of water access in Kakuma to the villages that have uh, had uh, water challenges for a very long time. And one example, notable example, is IDP Kakuma, with construction of 250 cubic tank extension of pipeline across Kakuma. This will be solved. Other villages that are also affected, the upper area of Kakuma totally has nothing. And you realize it's empty. The reason why it's empty is because the sources of water are almost five or six kilometers away from these villages. So it becomes a challenge. But by completion of this project, uh, you will see Kakuma growing. Uh, you will see Kakuma busting in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, people living far away from town and also developing more uh, other areas within the, within the, within the town. And I believe Kakuma is designated as a, as a municipal, and this one comes handy. And of course, with additional of about 22,000 uh, liters per hour, and we believe um, we will reach more than 10,000 people. Turkana West is blessed to have partners, and uh, we are bridging this gap very quickly and fast. My name is Agnes Lokoro. I work for AHI as an agribusiness specialist. Currently, we have a Choro farm and a Darfur and from the Danish government through Water Fund, we got a funding whereby we supported farmers here. We had eight shallow wells, but were not in good shape. Five were rehabilitated, and uh, three were replaced. And then we had uh, support, supporting farmers uh, using uh, startup kits, such as uh, seeds for amaranth. 
we had a cow piece and then uh, the other thing uh, we supported farm at least we fenced the 15 acre farm whereby it provided uh, security for the crops and uh, also it is gated with uh, four gates and uh, one main gate by the farmers are using it to protect their crops. Before waterfront came, we were using drip irrigation using a borehole that was uh, funded by UNHCR. But uh, last year, uh, there was a big rain that uh, caused uh, damage on the borehole, which uh, made the UNHCR to decommission the, the, the borehole. And uh, currently the farmers were, 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 were made to adapt use, uh, using the, the, the local river whereby they draw water from, they scoop water using jerry cans. But um, currently we are using the eight shallow wells for the 15 acre farm. Changing a, a pastoral is, is a tricky and, and undertaking. But I believe uh, with uh, with the continuous uh, programs in terms of uh, uh, the the livelihood uh, the livelihood program that is uh, agriculture, I, I think they call it agriculture. I believe that, that uh, I think there is bit of the the community have, um, are embracing this uh, this kind of uh, this kind of projects. And I saw in uh, I think it was in Lopur, and where there were construction of. Uh, Bands, bands to support some of these agricultural activity. I saw them; they were happy and they were growing some uh, sukuma wheat, uh, not sukuma wheat, but uh, mboga and um, uh, sorghum. And one thing I like about that program is uh, it assists them, especially where we have a land that is uh, that is losing a lot of water. Uh, that is downstream because of the slopeness. So that ability, to, when when you have the bands, it has that ability to collect at least make water percolate, uh, percolate, and community will have some. Uh, they, will, they will grow some crop, and of course there will be enough rain. And I think that is a good uh, undertaking by uh, AH, um, AHI. And you know, as a as a pastoralist myself, uh, the most part that we do is the southern part. And when you have a band that protects water for you and you don't lose your sorghum, then you're okay. And that one, uh, I believe with even addition of, uh, by, by being supported to have seeds, they will grow other crops that uh, are being grown in other, in other, in other areas. Uh, those are the major works they are doing and of course they are also doing uh, Nakuru water supply. We have World Vision that is developed three water pans in Turkana West, that is Lokchogyo and Akeruma. They are also doing a water pan in uh, Kaoi and Kanamesek. And just to uh, give you give you the 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 reasoning behind the water pans is Turkana's are pastoralist and majorly in this Turkana waste majority of livestock actually are in Turkana waste so that is why you re you will see the preference for water will be two things domestic and uh, number two automatically becomes a uh, uh, livestock access and if you go to the border point uh, the, the the area I'm talking about that is Songot. Kalobeye and Lokichojo, number one will be actually livestock water supply. And then of course to add other partners that are putting some resources into Kana Waste, we have SOPA, they are doing uh, some, bread f some bread for life project, they are doing, they did solarization of two balls. Uh, we have uh, WHH, uh, we have um, uh, NCCK, I, I think I mentioned this earlier. We have World Vision that is developing actually three water pans into Kana Waste, that is Lokichojo and Akeruma. They are also doing a water pan in uh, Kaui and Kanamesek. Kwa majina unaitua Osman Abdallah Wabakar. Ama minafanya mkwa. Analima shamba hapo. Hapo unaitua Chorofa. Usayu na mechuna naitua Jirjir wa Arabic. Ama ni watercraft in English. Anashkuru chai. Mekuje mechimbia hii. Shallowell, alafu me nisadia sana. Me nisadia me chimbia hii shallowell, alafu me maje me kuwa karibu, ana magia shamba. Alafu wa me nunua hii wat, hii boda boda, alafu wa kasadia, kaendelea kazi, sayi u boda boda me kuwa wingi. Akaacha kazi ya boda boda, sayi u naandelea tu shamba. Iko wafanya kazi, wanaasaidia. Kama sayi wanaona wa mama hapo, sayi wanachuna chuna pili pili. 
wa N. Mara wanakuja tatu, mara wanakuja moja, mara mbili. Eh, unalipa. Sometimes una au unachukua pilipili. Anaenda kuuza. Mara nyingine wanachukua pesa. Hapo kwa hii shamba yani unalima hapo wa pilipili hoho. Damia. Alafu hiyo naitwa watercress moringa kama like city streets alafu kiukamba na watermelons eh the as you see now here i'm now trying to do this is the the way i'm now doing and for farming yes this is uh, also we call them sangen beds and ni unasaidia kwa sana sana ku kwa sababu hakuna pipe ya kufikisha kila mahali ama unazunguka nayo anaweka tu mahali moja you just control the water maji irrigation watakuwa rais my name is Nicodemus Onunga i'm working for water sector trust fund program coordinator for this uh, water and life food program being implemented uh, in Trukana West we are working this uh, in this program with five uh, non government organizations now today we are here in Lokichogyo. This is a Lokichogyo site, one of the projects. Um, the objective of the program is uh, we are looking at water access, sanitation, hygiene, water resources management. And all this we have also a livelihood component uh, where this uh, kind of a project, a shed net, which is an horticultural uh, uh, intervention, is to enhance the livelihood of this area. So we funded World Vision uh, to work in Lokichogyo Ward in all the three core areas that I mentioned. And then uh, here in particular, this is Lokichogyo uh, Girls, where women group were mobilized and they started uh, farming activities. They have been doing a conservation agriculture kind of approach, but now with the support of the Shednet project, they are able to do the tomatoes that you can see behind us here. And from the project coordinator, we were told that they have 300 uh, trees of tomatoes in this shed net. And they are looking forward to have good harvest and already the mothers have started to benefit from the project. We have two of these shed nets here in Lokichogyo. And then another one uh, center is in Kangura. Uh, doing a similar kind of intervention of horticulture. The cost of one shed net is uh, 400,000 and that includes the supply and installation inclusive of the irrigation kit, drip irrigation kit. So we've done two here and uh, that is a cost of 800,000 and we are looking forward to see if the mothers themselves can upgrade the same project and even have more shed nets or continue with the conservation agriculture which they have been uh, practicing that was more of a rain-fed agriculture as compared to this where they require water supply. We are doing a water access a water supply project here uh, which they'll have a connection from the town supply from one of the boreholes we are uh, rehabilitating called Apple. And then now the school, we are also supporting the school uh, with uh, two blocks of latrines, VIP latrines, uh, to improve sanitation here within the school for the children. I'm called Victor, Ugoi, working with World Vision Kenya as a project coordinator. Uh, for this project funded by Danida, the Water Sector Trust Fund. Uh, we are at the uh, of the Girls Secondary Primary School, where we have uh, installed two shedness, 30 meters by 15 meters. This is to support women groups. Uh, there is a women group in Lokichogyo called Ebenezer Women Group, uh, whom we are supporting in growing horticultural crops. Ina tusaidia kilifunzi wa kwamba wakati mnakula hizo mamboga za kienyeji 
sina tusaidia kwa maneno ya magonjwa mengi ambayo yanatokea kwa mbali sisi mamboga kwenye tunachukua hapa tukimutole kwa kuhuza pio pale tunisaidia watoto wetu kwa upande ya shule pia hapa minyakua nenda jana kwa 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 to have enhanced livelihoods. After giving them a chance to apply, uh, we realized that already the women group who are uh, here, they already had some farms just around three kilometers from here, but they could not access their farms because of insecurity issues, being that we are close to the border and uh, they had to go early to the farms. So they had already started something. Secondly, we were looking at more of a mindset change approach uh, where the community has been used to nomadic pastoralism and depending on pastoralism are the main economic activity. So we were looking at those whom we can support to have changed mindset that we can also have another source or another alternative source of livelihoods that is in farming and that is where we, when they wrote their proposal, we found them fitting those requirements. Part of uh, the funding that we received was to augment Lotichogio water pipeline system. And uh, with this, with the installation of the shed nets, we found out that it is going to require more water. That is why we connected them to the pipeline system in order to be able to support the community to do the drip irrigation which requires small amount of water.